what can you say about like what is like to work in abroad on abroad? Oh, well, it's it's definitely a strange experience. So like not only are you working, like you're just trying to like make your money or whatever, pay your bills, but you're also encountering like a new culture, you're learning a new language, you're meeting new people. And like my thing with the scarf, like you're gonna make mistakes. And that part was kind of hard. Like when I, if I did something that, like when I wore my tank top out in Malatya and I shouldn't yeah. or wearing that, like there are little things here and there that you just have to learn how to change. Yeah. Um, so that was something to consider. But I think overall, uh, like at least in Turkey, like the people are so nice and hospitable. And like, if I ever needed help, like strangers would help me. Like they would try to figure out, like if they didn't know English, they would try to go find someone who yeah. did. Yeah, um, exactly. Like I was, yeah. Or like, we would like write things down, like, and try to drop <laughs> or something. Like they would do anything to make sure that I got what I needed. So yeah. that was really nice. So, um, yeah, and I'm trying to go ahead. Like maybe yeah. you'll make me think of other things. Uh, okay. So if you have, again, any chance to come here and work here, would you come to Malatya or another city in Turkey? Ooh, that's a good question. Yeah. I would like to go back to Malatya at least for a little while because I think when I was there, I was like having a really hard time with getting used to everything yeah. and then working for so long, like throughout the day. And then when I got home, I was so tired. Um, I would love to go there again, like knowing what I know now and knowing Malatya better. Um, but I would also like to see some other places. There are a lot of places I didn't get to go or I only got to spend like a little bit of time there. Yeah. Um, but I also know how great my university was and how easy it was to work with the my bosses and my co like my uh, co-workers. Yeah. So it's hard to pick. Like either go back to something familiar where you know people, you have friends, or experience something new to you. So, yeah, exactly. probably both. You have a home here. <laughs> you can. When yeah, you exactly. Come, I, can help yeah, you I, know. I know I can go back to Malatya, and I will like be okay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Malatya, yeah, Malatya is easy to live. Actually, really easy. Yeah, I remember when I was there, there was, there were kind of like, Turkey was kind of having some like political problems and it was yeah. a little bit like violent in some parts. And I actually, like my program, they didn't go to Turkey the year after that. For, like, they didn't go for like a couple yeah. of years. It was the last so, year that there was American teachers. Yeah, so I'm, I don't, they might be going back now. I don't know if they're going back to Malatya, but uh -huh. um that was kind of an interesting thing but then like you get to Malatya and it's like what violence what political issues like everyone yeah. was so calm there and like maybe they didn't want to talk about it maybe they were like oh like let's let's keep this to ourselves I don't know but again I didn't know as much as I do now so I think going back I would probably hear more and understand more mm -hmm. like maybe Malatya wasn't as calm as I thought but for the most part yeah yeah, unfortunately, politics, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, people <laughs> connect, people have friendships, but politics doesn't listen to that, you know. It doesn't care. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I think it helped, too, that Malati was a little bit more diverse, too, wasn't it? Like, there were, there was an American army base not too far. So there were some yeah. foreigners there, I think, every once in a while. And yeah, but um, we don't see them um, around. They don't come to the city. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. I never that see. Like the only one, the first time I saw a foreigner, it was you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. Of course, uh, when I went to, when I go to, I went to Istanbul two times. Um, mm -hmm. There, of course, there were tons. Like I asked someone, and they answered me like in Hindi or in another <laughs> language. <laughs> right. Yeah. Like, wait a minute, not what I was expecting. <laughs> yeah. So, um, what can you recommend for uh, language? You're a linguist. Um, mm -hmm. I am also really interested in linguistics. I majored in science, but I realized that I'm more interested in language learning. I'm learning Korean, Hindi. Um, 
So what can you say about to the language learners, not just English learners, but um, like what is the fundamental, fundamental thing that language learners should focus on when they start to learn a language? Ooh, that's a really good question. Yeah. So I'm teaching English right now here in the United States as well for like my students all speak Spanish though. So yeah. it's a little bit easier. It's closer to English. But the biggest thing with them is they're like scared to speak because they're scared to make mistakes. And that's okay. Like that's the biggest thing. Don't let like making mistakes stop you from trying. Because if you make yeah. those mistakes, like someone will probably correct you and then you'll figure out how to fix it. And then you'll know, and then you probably won't do it again. And even yeah. if you do, we're still going to understand you or we'll find a way or the, you know, the other speaker will find a way to understand you. You just have to keep trying and keep yeah. working. At that. Exactly. Um, for me, I was during the day, I was always uh, trying to speak English. Then when I go home, even like, I remember um, I was having a conversation every Thursday with you and mm -hmm. After uh, we end, I was going to Mr. Steven, his office. Um, mm -hmm. I remember that he asked me, how was the weekend? Uh, I told him that I looked at the heaven and it was uh -huh. raining cats and dogs. So <laughs> at the moment, I didn't know, like, what is the meaning? Like, I wanted to say, I just wanted to say, I look at the sky, but instead right. I said heaven. Mm -hmm. So when I go home, I realized that I said something really stupid. <laughs> <laughs> because <laughs> I was doing uh, watching some uh, videos from like um, workout videos mm -hmm. and there was a woman you know left the sunshine um, she was uh, like raise your hands up to the heaven like she oh, was using yeah. sense of uh -huh. humor and when I said I wanted to I look at the sky I said heaven so oh that's but, <laughs> funny <laughs> yeah. but if I didn't if I didn't try to speak because at the moment I also forget to say sky. But right. at least I said heaven and Mr. Steven looked at me like, okay, <laughs> you know. Yeah, I and knew I, what you meant. Yeah, but I just, I just spoke, I just tried. And I, when I go home, I just realized it. And the other time when I realized, I told him, uh, Mr. Steven, I understood I made a really stupid mistake. I'm really sorry mm. about it. I just wanted to say sky. <laughs> He said, it's okay, don't worry about it, you know? Yeah, definitely not a stupid mistake that they mean the same thing. <laughs> and like, honestly, that just makes you sound like a more uh, like academic speaker. Yeah. Uh, like then you're reach looking at the heavens instead of the sky. Like that's just very like poetic. It's not, it's not wrong. It's just not what people are used to hearing and, and not a bad thing. Actually, the funny thing is I forgot really simple words but at the same time, I used an idiom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you didn't remember sky, but you remembered cats and dogs. That is yeah. funny. <laughs> yeah. And I remembered like how I learned that uh, idiom is like, uh, you had a friend, her name was Kenna. She came mm -hmm. and visited you. Uh, it yeah, was yeah. raining. We went out together and she said, it's raining cats and dogs. Then we asked you like, what is the meaning cat and dog, you know? So this is how yeah. I learned that idiom actually. Yeah. Is there an idiom like that Turkish about if it's raining really hard? Um, not not really. I don't. If if there's, I don't mm -hmm. remember right now. <laughs> right. Maybe it depends where you're from too. There's yeah. some things like that in the states. Depends on where you are. Yeah. Um. I sometimes I think that like uh, we were having a conversation. Like I wasn't able to express myself really well, but whatever you were your words I still remember like I was consuming uh, maybe at the moment it wasn't in my active like vocab or my active usage but mm -hmm. still like after all those years sometimes I still remember those words I yeah because yeah still listen yeah listening is really important and then trying to speak English that's I think right. the two great combination that all language learners should focus on right yeah. And like you, because I remember you telling me too, you would watch movies and TV shows in English. I know I had a lot of students who did that. They would also like listen to English speaking music and read those books. Yeah. Um, I know some people too, they would put their phone in English, which was really, really smart. Then yeah. you literally see it all the time. Yeah. My Just tablet, my phone, practice. everything is in English. Yes. That's great. Yeah. Exactly. 
much. Yeah. Just being in like completely immersed in it and you'll learn it really quickly, especially if you're younger. Yeah. Actually, when, uh, when you, when you turn to America, um, I was like sort of depressed that I don't have anyone to practice anymore. <laughs> not just practice, but also there was a, a connection that um, mm-hmm. like different part of the world, um, yeah. there was a connection, you know, that. Uh, so there was three months after, you know, it followed three months and I just told myself, okay, like this three months, I'm going to immerse myself like every day, 11 hours. I, I really do not exaggerate. I was watching, reading, try to speak. Like I was like crazy, but Wow. Then, yeah. So when I did that practice a lot, it became more easier for me. And you, I'm sure that, you know, you see the difference because you just witnessed from the beginning, like how my, why English and where it evolved. Right. <laughs> yeah. I was, when I found out you had that YouTube channel, I was so impressed with you. And I, I watched some of your videos. I'm like, wow, you have done such a great job. You're Thank amazing. You. Yeah. Because after some point I like, there's an energy that I need to spend. So I don't know how I told myself, okay, let's start a YouTube channel. Let's give it a try. Uh, maybe you will, you will inspire other people and touch other people lives. They will just, they will benefit. So that's yeah. why I just started. Well, and it seems like it's working. You've got quite a few subscribers. Yeah. I, I work a lot and we have um, a little small community of people they are also what they are they're also going to watch this video i hope um they also had a questions i asked them i hope we covered all um yeah let me see i have the paper you sent me yeah i, think. I also I have know. it here you do okay but i think we co- covered all maybe um yeah. this is like for the first time i'm interviewing about like like this maybe i'm yeah. a little bit beginner <laughs> Um, I don't know (laughs) okay I don't know how it went but I hope it was good and people are going to enjoy watching it yeah I think so especially because it's always nice to hear from someone who has the experience like firsthand like they experienced it themselves yeah so I think people will enjoy it yeah I hope um I think uh one of the things that I want to say who watched this video like my followers or you know um People are mostly shy about learning, um, going and taking an action and speak with native speakers. If native speakers are around, like our cases, like, you know, that uh, most of my friends, they were really nice. Uh, They helped me a lot, but there was always something that lack, which is they weren't speaking. Like they weren't like so um, courage to speak or practice with uh, each other, even Mm -hmm. with native speakers. Right. So what I want to say is when they have a chance, they should use it like no matter what. And uh, they should find a way to enjoy, enjoy their time. Like I was asking you, let's go for lunch. Like mm-hmm. it's not the end of the world. You're going to say, okay, if you're busy, you're, not, you're going to say like kindly refuse, you know. Exactly. Um, even we were going like uh, I took you some places that um, you would you, you cannot go like alone. You, you couldn't able to figure out alone, like um, mm-hmm. a bookstore, you know, right. you remember? Mm-hmm. We went to look at the books and so on. Yeah. 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 Uh, we went to Malatya Park, you know, <laughs> around. Uh, we, we took some different uh, transportation, you know, lots of different experience. Yeah, you helped me learn how to get around Malatya by myself. Like by the time I left, I could just, I could take like any bus, any yeah. of the trains, like I knew where to go and it was fine. Yeah, I mean, we just, I really enjoyed all of my time. Um, I hope you also did. <laughs> yes, definitely. Yeah, it was fun. Like it, it is some sort of experience like I will never ever forget in my life. Yeah, you know? me neither. Turkey was a very special time for me and like everyone that I got to meet there. Like I still have like you and some of my other students, um, some of the teachers and other staff that I met at the university, like we all, we still keep in contact. So yeah, it's great. Yeah. I hope uh, I will be able to reach all of my teachers and able to talk with them like this. (laughs) Yeah, definitely. You'll have to let me know. I want to, I'll watch everyone's videos. Yeah, of course. Definitely. I will. (laughs) <laughs> yeah. 
So before we end, do you have any last words? Um, yeah, just like I said, uh, for the any language learner, whether you're learning English or something else, just like you said, try, like yeah. immerse yourself in it. Like any opportunity that you get to speak or write or listen, like do it. Especially if that is one of your goals is to become fluent in your second or third or fourth language, whatever it is. Um, and another thing I would say to you, like that kind of goes along with the being worried about um, making mistakes. A lot of people focus so much on their accent. Don't worry about that. Focus on being understood and like getting your, like your grammar and your vocabulary, right. And then the accent will come with time. Like yeah. that's the most important thing. I don't think strong listening is really important when you listen yeah. really strongly, automatically, you're going to pronounce correctly. Yeah, that too. That's great um, yeah. practice for to learn how to pronounce things yourself. Just listening over and over again yeah. and repeating as often as you can. And yeah. the more you speak, the less of an accent you'll have. Uh, absolutely. Um, there is a word like uh, recently I made a video about which is otorhinolaryngologist. It was really hard <laughs> for like, me. I don't even know if I can say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, what does that mean? Um, it's like um, a doctor, uh, a sort of, I don't remember, I don't remember the meaning, but it's sort of um, a part of medicine, <laughs> you know. Okay. Yeah. So when you find out what it means, you'll have to send that to me because okay. I want to know what that means. Yeah. That's a crazy word. <laughs> yeah. So I have like, um, I have a new project. I have two, like I have a twin sister, imaginary twin sister. She is like five minutes smaller than me. Oh, and she speaks English with her with okay. her accent. Um, so every week she is uh, okay. Some <laughs> questions, <laughs> and as her bigger sister, I help her how to pronounce some word the words that she challenged me to pronounce. So this is one of the words that she challenged me, which is otorhinolaryngologist. Um, it's quite fun. I just started just three videos. Uh, I have. Um, so you definitely must watch it, you know. I love that. <laughs> it's funny. That's She's so funny. funny. That's a great <laughs> idea too. Yeah. So it was really Yeah, great. I bet. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to see those ones too. Yeah. Okay. So it was really great to have yeah, you. Definitely. Um I'm really glad to see you again after years later. Yes, thank um, you. So I will see you hope soon. I yes, guess. me too. Yeah. Um, take good care of yourself. Bye yes, definitely. Yeah. If you want another video, yes, I would, I would definitely would love to make a video for you again with you again. Yes. Okay. Please do. Okay. Let me know. Okay. So bye for now. <laughs> All right. I'll see you later. Okay. Yes, for now. <laughs> see you later. <laughs>